Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Lila Plays. I have some things to show you that I just kind of did in my downtime. Which you can kind of see already. And I've been thinking about what to do for today's episode. First of all, la! I finished my room. I'm still going to build up more bookshelves here just because a bedroom is not a bedroom unless there's books to read. And I have my nice bed and a couch that I can sit and look out the lovely window and consider all the things I want to do. And we'll see when I get time to do them. But what I'm thinking of doing today is something that, to be perfectly honest, I really kind of don't want to do, but I also kind of really want to do it. And it's going back to the nether and checking out that fortress and trying not to not die while we loot it. Which, I mean, y'all have seen me thus far. Odds are pretty decently good that we're going to die a horrible death. But it would be fun. And terrifying. Oh, let's see here. What pants have the best enchantment? Or anything that's going to last. <laughs> Actually, I don't think any of this is really going to last. I'm just going to carry it with me for the inevitable moment that something breaks. Um, because I'm already wearing gold. That should last me. That'll be good. Those are going to break pretty soon, and then I can swap them out with one of those. Use. I need to use up all this armor stuff that I got from uh, my zombie XP farm. Because <laughs> I have a lot from there. Oh my lit. Oh. Hel hello. Where do you come from? Do you guys want to go out? Yes. Yes, you you are welcome to go out. Mm, what is my level of stup that stupidity? Nope, nope. But what is my level? Mm, no, mm, no. But I want I want the pearls. Mm. Me dying here might happen a lot sooner than anticipated. Are you gonna come back? Please come back. Let's get this done. I just want the pearly eyeball goodness. Please. Oh, <gasps> thank you. Well then, I'm just gonna take a moment and put that up there. And while I'm at it, I'll put these here for uh, the inevitable likelihood. Okay. Maybe I'll actually keep that there for the moment for, um, except that bugs me, for future possible Enderman moments. Okay. Now, I don't know. I don't even want to say the name because I don't want to say the name and have it show up. But I'm expecting a gas will probably show up at some inopportune moment because that's just how things go in the nether. There we go. Oh my goodness. I am terrified already. This is not good. This is not good. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of those guys. Mm hmm. Hello, terror, my old friend. I really don't want to risk something popping in on me. Okay, we're here. <clears throat> we're just gonna break in. Soft and gentle. Hopefully not get ourselves killed. At least not right away. I just wanna make sure that there's nothing that's gonna like pop in on top. Where are 
need a breakthrough somehow, somewhere. Oh my word. You guys, you have no idea. My hands are literally like shaking right now. I do not like the nether. And I really don't like piglins. And I really don't like the things that attack with one single hit and then you're dead. And here I am. Here I am. Where is an opening? But this is crazy. I should have broken through at least once somewhere. These things aren't just solid stuff. Okay, well that's, I think, reassuring. What in the world? Somehow this just makes it all the worse. Because it's that anticipation of... At some point, I'm going to break through. And when that happens, it'll be doom, death, destruction, madness, chaos. Part of me wonders if I should just try going back to the top and going through again. But I really don't want to. I feel like this is the best way for me to have some amount of protection theoretically but oh, now if I wanted to I could mind that and really get people angry I'll do that when I'm done because that sounds like fun is this where I was I my doom. Goodness, I'm gonna get lost trying to get out of here at this point. I'm gonna mine it. There's more lava. Look at that fiery doom of death. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, can I? <laughs> Not that high up, thank you. There's no easy way to go through that. It's not going to result in me absolutely dying. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Let's see here. Oh! We're okay. We're okay. things follow me from above? No, okay. Is that a big land over there? I cannot tell. And I'm kind of loath to just go running over there and find out the hard way. This is the ugliest thing I've ever done, but that's okay. Okay. Gosh, my nerves, y'all. My nerves are on fire. Oh, that looks like a danger over there. But there's not many more chests, and I'm gonna move before the danger sees me. I'm feeling I should probably just take what I have home first, actually. While I have stuff and I'm not, um, dead. <laughs> oh my goodness, I made a maze for myself, didn't I? Oh no. 
Come on, dwarvish sense. Okay. Question is, did I break gold recently enough that they're going to remember me and hate me for all eternity? Or has it been long enough that I can run home and not die? Let's find out. Oh my word. Excuse me, gentlemen, but no. I can fight piglins like this. Hoglins. I can do those. That's fine. That's not bad. Not when I'm behind a fence and there's some reasonable protection and not instant death promised and all that good stuff. Oh, I actually got an ancient debris. That's amazing. I haven't even started actually mining in earnest for that yet, so that's honestly very cool to me. Um, you know what? Let's put you in here. So you go in here, you go in there, you go in there, you go in there. Gilded Blackstone is so pretty. I am excited to have that. And let's see here. Basalt. That one's the smooth. I can put the regular here too. Why not? Have order to my madness. Okay, though. We survived. We survived. I am genuinely impressed. I feel like... Yes, I did. I'm... Sincerely surprised that we made it. Um, and I think I managed to do it without screaming your eardrums off, so I'm pleased about that, not gonna lie. And we didn't die. That's amazing. But there also... There were less chests than I figured there would be, which means I'll probably have to go back and explore some more. I feel like there's more to be discovered and not to sound greedy and I want it all but I'm kind of greedy and I want it all now that I have one piece of the uh, ancient debris I want more I want to have netherite stuff oh my word oh oh <laughs> Of course, it happens in my own portal. Of course. Of course. Are you going to attack me now? You better not. I died. You killed me. Good grief. Hello, stuff. Okay, look at that. I actually figured out how to use the, uh, the very random grave system that I did not put in, but hey, good grief. For a moment there, I thought he was going to attack me for opening a barrel. I was about to be like, oh no. Okay. I feel like we'll need to go deeper than this, though. I feel like we're still somewhat high up. Mmm. Yeah. I have a feeling this is probably going to be a floating island of some amount, and mining down is not going to end well for me. Just a guess. Let's see here. If I go this way, though, this might actually be a place to kind of start the mining. I don't see him. But just because I can't see it doesn't mean it can't see me, because they are obnoxious like that. So this is my... Poor man mining shelter. Circa today. And now we'll just start working going down. So, 
as I've been just kind of working and making tunnels to come back with beds later, I happen to find me this. Now, granted, I do not have my diamond pickaxe on me, but I'm pretty stoked that I've already found a piece. And this means now, later on, when I come back, when I'm loaded to the gills with beds to explode, I'll come back and I'll first mine that little baby up. And I will have a piece to start with, which will be really cool. In the meantime, I'm grabbing me some quartz, because it's gorgeous. And I'll probably end up using it later. And I'm just going to check. Oh! <gasps> is this really three? Oh my. Wow. Sweet cheesy whales. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's the happiness over there. And I have over here different little roots that later on I'll come back with some beds and I will explodicate some beds and see what shows up if anything but oh, dude dude I was not actually expecting to find anything not yet so that's three. Oh my gosh okay that's that's pretty awesome stuff not gonna lie I grabbed my- yeah, I did. <gasps> I'm excited. Okay, first things first. Oh my goodness. Three, y'all! Three! That's insane! That is gloriously insane. Now. <laughs> oh, look at all the quartz we can mine up in a bit. That's awesome. Let me do it. Nah, let's do it this way, whatever. How much space do I have? I do not want to hit my head on the way out. I have learned this lesson. Oh! <laughs> I was too close! Just because I don't mind dying doesn't mean I want to die. Hey, he... Ugh. Oh, half a heart! Woo! I love this game. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to bet, guys? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna just drop down to half a heart? Or... Oh my goodness, the nervousness. Oh! <laughs> this place is literally rigged to blow. Just not in the traditional sense. And somehow that makes me downright gleeful. And that's rigged to blow. I haven't gone this way, have I? Oh my goodness. This axe is too powerful. It's too powerful. <laughs> okay. And we'll do this one too. There we go. And we'll put that one there. And we will leave this a happy place to be explodicated later. Because, I mean, it's gonna get explodicated. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's gonna go down here for now. <laughs> that just makes my heart so happy. So ridiculously happy. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go back to the nether and make myself a nice little path over to the mining area because I can. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll be back.
confession time. I did all that, and it was great, and it was wonderful. And then I had an idea, and I decided I wanted to do a little bit more. And so I went back to the nether, and I did a little bit more, but I didn't record it because I didn't think I was going to go all that crazy. And I kind of did go really crazy. And... Let, let, let me just... Let me just sh show you, um, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I kind of, I ran out of glass for one thing, so I'll need to come back for that later, but hopefully this will help pre prevent ghasts from being able to, like, look in and see me and immediately want to, like, shoot me up, because I really don't want that to happen. Um, I added a bit of a roof, so that way I have theoretical areas to hide from gas. So I'm gonna get more glass, though, and, like, actually close it in. Oh, I still need to fix that side. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking I might actually do some sort of enclosed thing here, so I can go from there to here. And not worry about... gas, because I'm really kind of tired of, like doing my own thing, life is great, life is grand, and then blah! Boom, boom. I, I would really rather not. So, yeah, I, I kinda had some fun going crazy. And I swapped this out for an easier ender killer. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. So this is my little bit of a ledge, so that way I theoretically don't go like flying over the edge again. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to next work on maybe not a full path, but a bit of a path going up to uh, the castle that I I really feel like I didn't raid it as well as I could have and should have, just because I'm timid beyond all belief when it comes to that. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to try it again and go back and see if I can raid a little bit more, get some more loot, all that stuff. Not right this moment, but sometime soon probably. And then I want to actually go exploring some more. I don't know where to exactly. I'm not sure even where I'm going right now. But I figure I'll go exploring... Yeah, look, it looks like there's more of that over there, so I suppose that's the thing that's going to have to be explored fully. I figure I'll be doing some of that at some point, and that'll be fun. Fun being a loose term of terror. And I want to know, I know there's got to be a crimson forest. Oh, see, this, this is something I need to think about. You know what? This is not what I'd grabbed these for. But because it's me and I'm slightly disaster prone, let's just do a thing. Um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna at some point go exploring for some of that crimson forest. <sighs> yeah, that that's exactly why I'm gonna cover that over. Because I am a slightly clumsy individual. Not a lot, not terribly, just just somewhat clumsy. Just Somewhat disaster prone, maybe. This is, yeah. Yeah, you've all witnessed this now. That's all we need to say about that. But I'm thinking I'm going to go looking for a crimson forest at some point. I'll probably not do that anytime real soon. I feel like I've done a lot in the nether. And I really would like to take a break from the nether. Um, so, I apologize because I was not recording for this. But I had been working, and it had been great-ish, and I, s I don't even know what happened, but apparently I, I guess I hit a piglin. I'm not even sure, but something happened. I'm going to do that, so I remember this is not a place I want to go. That's a no-go zone. Does this go down too? Yes, that does. Behold, the no-go. I think that'll help me remember. Um, I'm gonna do this too. Because I can. Um, 
but I'm thinking I'm gonna come back another time and look for our crimson forest because we have the warped forest here, which is fantabulous. But I would really like to have a uh, crimson forest too, and I'm sure there's one somewhere. It's just not something I'm gonna search for right now because after all this time in the Nether, I feel like I'm just a disaster waiting to happen again and die again. And I mean. I had to kill so many piglins to get my stuff back, and even that was a narrow squeak to, to get through and get everything, because I discovered, rediscovered, I'm not sure how I want to word that, the whole, this is hard, and what happens on hard? Well, you have things that go boom, and then you have more piglins that decide to just spawn in and you think you think you're almost there you think you've killed the last one you can grab your stuff and no here comes eight more and then there's another ten behind them good luck Sam yeah no that, that was that was an adventure <laughs> and I I think I'm I think I'm good taking a small break from the nether for the time being. But, yeah, it, it was it was fun. It was not dull. It was something else. I'm actually going to take a look at this from the outside because I haven't actually looked at it from this side yet. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's halfway decent. Decent enough for me for the time being. And honestly, this is a great cheap way to light up my uh, my thing here, so why not? <laughs> fire, fire, fire. I love, I love how this actually just burns. Like, it's creepy in one way and really kind of cool in another way. And it makes it for a nice, cheap way of lighting things up. Can I, can I let set fire to things under there? No. Okay. I didn't think so. It was worth a shot. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Bloop. Can I go up here? Yes, that actually worked. Yay, it worked. I can actually take that off then. <laughs> fire! Yes! I love it. So much. More fire. This is the story of how I will die at some point in the future. Just watch. Just wait. Just see. I'm going to run into it at some point and forget about it and it's going to be a thing. No regrets. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just light those things on fire. And you know what? We'll go boop while we're at it. Help light things up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> you know what? I have the stairs. I'm actually recording. Let's really quickly... <gasps> not die! Where is it? Oh, hello. Hello. No. Bad Gasty. Bad Gasty. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's a hole in my floor. <sighs> I'm just gonna hide here for a moment. Well, now things are nicely lit up over there. That's a boon. Yeah. I mean, it's more fun when I set the stuff on fire, but... I'll take it. Alright. Is our little friend somewhere up there still? Probably. I should wait till I'm at full health, huh? <laughs> where oh where did it go though? Or did I actually kill it? Blah. Yeah. Whatever. It blew holes in my floor. Hello. Well, all that to say, I did a bit of work. 
And, uh, yeah, I did a bit of work, and I died a lot, a lot, a lot, and it was an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> it was a grand adventure with many mishaps. Many, many, many mishaps. But that's kind of how life goes, isn't it? Also, I killed some cows earlier. Now I have multiple cows. I need to get a sheep head to put there. <laughs> because I want the symmetry of it all. I mean, the symmetry is false, but still. But I'll need to breed up some moo moos later. And I have some ideas for yonder. We're getting that stuff started up. But we'll see. We'll get to that later. For now, I think this is a great break point. A good end point. Thanks. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me on that adventure. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.